the brown top furry thing here somehow in the shade. But you look at the brass is really thick on that here. Yeah, well they're not getting much light. <laughs> that. Yeah, exactly. But when this freezes, Oh yeah, they'll, they'll come up. Yeah, oh yeah. Here's a sunflower that didn't make yeah. it. Yeah, and then the, you're going to have a nice microclimate yeah. that this stuff's going to grow long, long, long yep. time. Wow. There's the clover. So what were, what was your, was this a small grain then? This was oats and peas that we harvested for grain that were planted together. Okay, oats and peas for grain. Yep, we made about 40 bushel. And then after, then right after harvest you put in this mix? We were really late getting it harvested. Um, we were mid-July, probably almost the 20th of July, and we planted this two days after my field school. It had been like the 25th of July. Okay. And we got this kind of energy going on. Look so at the production. 10 weeks old. 10 weeks old. Uh, no fertility in this field since 2011. Oh my God. And what's the plan for it? Graze. Graze. This is winter they're gonna. They're going to... They're going to have their own shelter while they're grazing. Yeah. <laughs> I, this, we'll need to get this one harvested pretty soon. It's got a little taller than I wanted it. It's, yeah. We can't wait till late winter to harvest this one. Right, right. My gosh. And this field should... And you said you had, you didn't have much to look at. What the hell are you talking about? This, this field should Jeez. beat Haney. It should beat the last field. We've not pulled a test here for two years. Okay. So the last time we pulled here, it was the highest ranking field in Kansas. And then now that field surpassed yeah. that. So the, the only downfall, this is the best soil that I farm. This field. It broke. seems like it's a little lighter. Yeah. Is it a little lighter? Less clay. Yeah, a little less this clay. This is bottom. Okay. So this is silty loam, a lot less clay. We've had a root living in this soil since 2000. Okay. So 14 so years. Yeah, 14 plus years of continuous yeah. root. The reason the organic matter here is just short of five instead of short of seven where it should be. Right. Um, obviously the first, well the first six years was alfalfa. So we were harvesting everything there. And then after 06 when the alfalfa come out and we've had, we've still had a continuous root since then, but all the cover crops were harvested mechanically up until 2010 or 11. So hauling off hay, hauling off hay right. lunch, our organic matter was flatlining. Right. Well, you even were taking. Even though we had a continual root. Exactly. Yeah, we yeah you're, taking, it you're taking it all off. Right. That's the advantage of, of uh, harvesting through animals. Yeah. Clapperton found native earthworms in this field in 2010. And when you say native? Uh, this would be, this probably isn't one, but this would be a full grown native. Earthworm. Okay. They only find much them smaller. in furries and timber. Right, okay. The, the okay. earthworms that we've been looking at are no, European. No, no, I know, I know. Yeah. They were brought in. Yep. I knew that. And so and I didn't, was, I've not was, seen a native worm. Yeah, well, it was the worm. first time she'd ever found a native in a, in a crop land. Right here, okay. And we've got timber right here, so I assume they're starting to, to migrate in. Right, finally. because of the environment's right yeah. for them. Yeah. And while the brown top is done the okay, there sure isn't much forage here. It's mostly stems that's trying to grow, to mm -hmm. trying to get to some sunlight. Right, right. Wow, what a jungle you got. Are you going to start with a mechanical removal harvest or is this all animal? This will all be harvested with animal. Man, yeah, that's what I thought. It's okay. So you'll get the, so what you're saying is you're going to get the first grazing where it'll nip these down and then you're going to get another, another we crop could. of grazing out of it later? Well, we could. When uh, you said that but planting. This, this we're probably going to leave and the freeze will be what opens this up and this will probably graze midwinter. Uh, if we brought the cows in here today and grazed this off, we, we could take this top layer off. Right. And the, the brassicas would come up and thrive. Is that what you're meaning about the two? When you were saying just like two minutes ago about planting one crop and getting two out of it. E either way, uh, the intention for this field is the freeze will kill all this. Right. And the cows will come in later. Once this freezes out, the canopy is going to open up. Right. And sunlight's going to hit. And, that, and then that's your next yeah. crop. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Clover. And right. I understand. Clover. I understand yeah. what you're meaning there. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's that's nice. So this is what you would have liked to have seen on that other field. Yeah. A little more of a jungle. Well, not quite this much sedan and Because because you have more of that more in this. Right. Yeah. This right. is kind of the what we've been hoping for out of the other field. Yeah. There's a mustard. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. The mustards we're seeing are very competitive in the summer even. You know, that's, that's a pretty big mustard plant. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is really, this is 